All right, so we got every single Warhammer Space Marine Legion in a nutshell. This video is by Bricky. If you guys did not know, we reacted to uh, Bricky's Warhammer Explained video. I absolutely enjoyed that. I was like, you know what? Why not? You know, we we'll react to another one. On the internet, the time has come. The reckoning begins. <laughs> Your boy got himself a shaker cup. <laughs> Bro, him and these promos, After like many, many months of shilling <laughs> gamer stuff like mad. My favorite thing to do, we have ourselves a goddamn shaker cup. It's here, the official Bricky Waifu Shaker Cup. Can I've never had like G Fuel or nothing before. Like, I I'm just gonna keep it completely honest with you. A thing in the background, the skater, the thing in the background, long white hair, absolutely a bit more toned abs obviously okay Bikini, hit it legally distinct mark on the face of course she wants you to do the diddle thing maybe but most likely to serve in a glorious army legally distinct i think so the bricky shaker cup is available now and you should hey it's like g fuel and stuff like that is that good so or what thinking, bricky, what should i put in this well how about my top 10 favorite gamer subs flavors from number one to number 10 all of them incredible but listed regardless and an oh addendum for those that are caffeine free this shaker cup is available now in the description of this video you may use code bricky as well at oh 10 off to get a discount on your order a nice massive amount of profits goes to yours truly and a huge thank you to gamer subs for sponsoring and for getting me this beautiful beautiful cup go out there and get it i'm gonna take one more sip for the camera slow it down throw some sexy music in there and i'll see you guys soon that actually kind of looks good what is that Oh no, yo, yo, what is up with <laughs> Bricky currently stuck in the walls of the most prodigious school in the Imperium by punishment for falling asleep during class. Oh wow, that's God horrible. Bless the skull of Virginium. Many of you have come across my every faction explained video. Firstly, thank you. Secondly, I think I have that video. I think that video is gonna come up after this one. Marines are the quintessential poster boys of Warhammer 40,000. When people think 40k, they think space marines, but there are many types of space marines formed from 20 separate legions. We are going to 20? rattle them off in order and give you a quick rundown of each one. A disclaimer, like in my every faction explained video, this is a mix of accuracy and memes. If I oh. say the <laughs> Salamander's Legion specializes in hugging children and petting puppies, they aren't exactly doing that, mostly. Oh, I get what he's, okay, I get it. But you can infer <laughs> that they care about civilians and are a bit kinder than the average space marine. Okay, that's space nice. Marine being a genetically modified super soldier that's had a million new and terrifying organs shoved into them, refrigerators strapped to their bodies. Yeah, they're cracked. So far above the average human that they are referred to as demigods instead. Oh Each wow! Space marine has a father, unlike you, a primarch, which is basically an even bigger space marine that was forged in a lab by the god emperor of men. Mankind, that gigantic golden dude you see everywhere, who is both a leader and now the martyr. I mean, he's not man. wrong. The I mean... Twenty sons built in a lab who lead twenty legions of space marines. Or their sons. He's not, not lab, wrong. Rather a How did you know? Team, giving them the powers and skills of their associated. <laughs> Primark via a gene seed, a special organ carrying the How did you know? of their Primark. Oh my and, god. Uh, their seed. So if Jagatai Khan of the White Scars has the genetic makeup that wants him to go really, really fast, then his sons, the Space Marines, also want to go really, really fast. Oh. I should note that I'm only referring to the legions this time around. If you're interested in sub factions like, let's say, the Black Templars, then it's not going to be here. However, I do have a excellent Black Templar video. I'd argue it's probably the most accurate one I can think of. It goes through the whole lore, everything about them. It's a very long video. I'll put it in the description. Just look up Black Templar video in the description. Bro, all, all of Bricky's videos are and long. Now, with the I kind of like that. Out of the way, let us begin with our first legion all right let's go dark angels dark angels allegiance loyal oh they're not huh oh they're not Brian oh lion l johnston a duelist a knight a real asshole i'm not gonna kind of like thor word descriptor 
paranoid. The Dark Angels are our first legion, hailing from the death world known as Calabam. Their prior Ryan L. Johnson's weapon is to try to make the side profile Chad meme into a genuine character. He is a master tier duelist, a brilliant strategist, and an overall dick. There are few situations for he real? isn't prepared for, and few fights he isn't ready to lead head on. This I mean, that's probably why he's paranoid. Great knights of the Round Table vibe. They look like the knights of old with these large suits of power armor, often donning robes and hoods. Their names also follow this. They have like Ezekiel, Azrael, Belial, oh, okay. Samuel and so on However, like a lot of like bible names associated with dark angels are the fallen a part of their faction that turned traitor against the imperium and they are very heavily trying to expunge all knowledge of them from existence fallen what fallen I've never heard of any fallen do you know about the fallen we're gonna no. take you away and mind probe you to make sure you have never heard of the fall they definitely don't exist and if they do exist which they don't we will find them even though they don't exist they love their interrogations they oh my Lionel Johnson is a scorched earth policy sometimes, and it's given to his sons in force. Which makes sense, considering that when the lion heard of a chaos Primarch on a homeworld different Primarch, whose mom was there, he was like, let's nuke it. The Dark Angels are a special group where they formulate themselves into three different factions. The Deathwing Terminators, slow moving, tough phalanx. The Raven Wing, fast uh -huh. jet bikes and flyers. Yeah. And the Green Wing, which is your standard Marines. They are a jack of all trades, but not in the sense where they're good at everything, but rather they have a lot of things that are good at specific things. Like instead of 20 people that have a multi-tool, they instead have 20 people with gigantic power tools for every job imaginable. If you like being oh, suspicious about okay. everyone and everything in your surroundings, but you also like to have a whole lot of deep night hype lore, run the Dark Angels. The one oh, piece. I don't, I don't want to be near them. The one piece they is real. Our second <laughs> region is a special one. If you can see, yeah. The Emperor's children, go, third legion. Too. 11. The Emperor's Children, Allegiance, Traitor, Primarch, Fulgrim, a perfectionist, an artist, a sneaky, sneaky I mean, bro, that's that purple armor looked nice, perfection. though. The Emperor's Children are all about the pursuit of perfection, perfection in all they do, perfection in war, in artistry, and perfection in every other aspect of life. That's Their a horrible way to live. Gleaming pink, purple, and gold. Their ships have spires of gold. Okay, all right, hold up. I can't lie to you. I, I gotta pause real quick. That ship is uh, perfection. I can't lie. Listen, I, I know a second ago I said perfection is like horrible, or whatever. I can't lie to you. That ship is perfection. Let me just let me just We're say just that. Marvel gold statues in that's their perfection honor. fulgrim is a man who believes the pursuit of perfection is the goal of all things and i mean look at him Can i mean you truly tell me that he is not perfect the hair the features i mean As go, he is the one you look at and if 40k had a guy that would give you the best sex you've ever had and never call you back this is the fucking guy uh, man, that is like a future type of guy yeah led them to the evils of chaos yes Emperor's children are our first chaos legion and not just a normal one. One devoted to you guessed it, Slanesh, the Prince of Pleasure. I heard she was a, I heard she was the start of everything. Now listen, I know I'm a Warhammer new booty, but I heard she was the demon. I heard that that I heard that she basically just she started all this. She was like the like you, you guys know like Adam and Eve. She was the, she was literally like the Eve of this whole thing. That's what I heard. I heard she that she just she cracked everybody up. That that, that like yeah, yeah, I heard a lot about her. God of unspeakable excess. The Emperor's children in their pursuit are now horrifyingly mutated beings through Slanesh's great will. They torture and maim to feel perfection through pain. They screech and attack with sonic weaponry for perfection through sound. And they slaughter, aiming for perfection in war. Fulgrim himself lost the battle against Slanesh as a demon sword corrupted his mind and transformed him into the sexy man he was, into the sexy snake he is now. A demon Primarch corrupted and bringing his legion's will by himself. As far as Emperor's children go, they are some bad people. They do horrible, oh, oh my horrible goodness. things to anyone and everything. In fact, they're such trolls that their battle cry is for the Emperor, despite being horribly mutated and corrupted. If you've ever taken a little too much of a drug, or, or oh, never. maybe the music at the concert was too loud and you didn't bring any earplugs or whatever the reason. You just take all those things and you dial it. Crank it. And you dial it yeah. and you twist it and the knob breaks. Yeah. And that 
is the emperor's children. Yeah, they're cracked. They're cracked. They're so numb that they're cracked up. And we have killed him. The Iron Warriors. Allegiance, traitor. Primarch, Percherabo. A warlord, a siege smith, an incel. Single word descriptor, siege. Continuing the trade of our chaos legions, the Iron Warriors led by Primarch Percherabo of Olympia. To understand the Iron Warriors, though, one must first understand Percherabo. A man so bitter, coffee beans run for light. A man who hates the world and everyone in it. Who never got recognition for his deeds. Who hates his brothers and hates their accomplishments even more. Someone so laughably petty, so incredibly bitter, oh. that he goes full circle to becoming likable. Oh, he's the, oh, he's the petty because king. Because he's competent. The Horus Heresy... We didn't talk about the Horus Heresy. Intermission. Uh oh. So Horus was the Emperor's favorite son. Yeah. Right? You know, so the Emperor walked into his room. Horus said, Dad, Dad, I just gifted 150 subs to Amaranth, and she said my name a ton, and she loved me for it. I really think that I might get to meet her one day. And it <laughs> kind of played out something like this. Your feelings for her are not real. They are real to me. And then it's <laughs> playing out a little bit more like this. <laughs> Let the sea spoil. Ah! The stars fall. Wait, so are you basically saying that basically he was so like wow? So basically, what he's saying is he got so affected by that that he was like, hmm, you know what? Instead of me just accepting my dad's words for what it is because maybe he's right, I'm gonna just like just I'm gonna just be a nuisance. It, it, was that it? Is that it? Is that is that, is that like what we're what we're saying now? <laughs> I get that. Bro, gifting one. Listen, I'm not going to say that. No. I'm going to say gifting 150 subs to Amaranth just for her to say your name is absolutely dire. Bro, bro it, it, that's nasty work. Now, I'm not expecting her to, like, you know, to do nothing extra. But, like, bro, that's, bro. Man, I'm not even going to dive into that field. But, like, that's that's crazy. So it takes the last drop of my blood. Wait, that's the same yeah. guy that's. So Iron Warriors, the Horus Heresy wouldn't have gotten shit done without Peter Turbo. Imagine an entire faction that is the personification of brutal industrialism, where you serve the Legion until your dying breath. You wow. build and you kill and you siege and you kill and you literally summon demons just to take them and trap them in machines and use them as cannon fodder. Oh, this wow. This is a thing they do. They oh, summon wow. demons to trap and use as shock troops. The Iron Warriors are siege warfare incarnate. They are heavy weapons. They are tanks. They are turrets. And they don't die. They hate Imperials. They hate Imperial fists. Do you need a pacifier, Iron Baby? <laughs> no. No, I don't. <laughs> they are bitter <laughs> incarnate. Percherabo and the Iron Warriors don't serve the Chaos Gods because they like them. They serve them because fuck you. Come on, guys. Let's go. Not another speeding ticket. White scars. In court, but I don't think they're going to accept God of God. Oh, these are guys that like to go fast, right? These are guys that like to go fast, scars. yeah. Allegiance, loyalist. Primark, Jagatai Khan. A speed demon, a plane yep. strider, a roast god. Single word descriptor, speed. Hailing from Chagoras. The white scars are all about speed. They love melee, but they love it even more when they are doing it from a motorcycle or land speeder. Or honestly, just running really damn fast the white scars are honestly forgotten about a lot and that's lore accurate they are a legion that doesn't seek the recognition or glory from the combat they engage in they engage in it because it's their duty and because they love it not in the insane slaughter enjoyment of loving it but in the thrill of the fight they are known oh. as the laughing killers because they ride into battle with a smile on their face and a chuckle in their they don't throat. they don't so sound so bad mark's name they are Mongolian based. Remove oh. horses and replace them with motorcycles and land spears, and that's your stuff. Yeah, they don't. They, they don't sound so bad. The old times of Genghis Khan, and consider this is 40k, and everybody's evil. You know that fits. The white scars are actually physical scars on their body, going back to their heritage on Chagoras. Oh, the Khan himself okay. is kind of a dickhead, but but a reasonable one. He thinks ahead. He's intelligent. He's patient. He is often underestimated because he doesn't scream his accomplishments. From oh. the rooftops, which is what makes him and the white That's stars scary. dangerous. Yeah, it's very His scary. Skills are kept at bay only to be truly shown when the time is needed. The white scars are a forgotten legion often, but that doesn't diminish their accomplishments. So, th so based the white scars are basically they're they're like they're like silent killers. They're like very humble. Okay, I understand. Okay, cool. 
They actually sound like the white scars actually sound pretty cool. They don't they don't sound too evil or anything like that. All it does is surprise those who underestimate them. Yeah. The speed, awesome Mongolian vibe they got going on. And if you really like to stab people, that's the white scar. And this might be my that's my, this might be my favorite one. The white scars. That might be my favorite leisure. Space wolves. Wolf, bitch. The space wolves. Allegiance? Loyalist. Primark? Lehman Russ, a Viking, a savage, the Undertaker. Uh -oh. a single word descriptor. Wolf, 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 wolf. There's so many goddamn wolf units. <laughs> Skater, how many units in the Space Wolf Codex have the word wolf in their name? Well, is he talking to his editor? The Space Wolves are the sixth legion and hail from Fenris, a frozen wasteland of a world with their Primarch, Lehman Russ. I don't really need to spend a whole lot of time talking about the Space Wolves because it's very obvious who they are. They are the second most like obvious what their shtick is legion yeah. in the 20 legions besides the world leaders when you look at the space wolves behind what do you see do you see vikings in space you've done it yeah congratulations you have found vikings in space but they have as much in common with a regular marine as an old day viking with, with like a roman soldier you see as a space marine your body is so enhanced that you filter out poison and so you can't get drunk the space wolves distill a special mead out of a horrible poisonous plant that would kill a normal human so they can get drunk. They have fangs <laughs> in their Oh, no. They no, that's some, al their hey, yeah, yeah, that's some alcoholic stuff right there. They was like, you know what, bro? We can't even get drunk off the regular stuff. Bro, let's make some, like, just downright dangerous alcohol just so we can, like, feel it. Like, that's crazy. Sometimes they eat people because they gain knowledge about them from there and about battle plans. The Space Wolves are savages. They're raiders. Excuse They're me, what did you say? But despite all of this, they are loyal to their core. Okay. Lee Russ is an egotistical guy who just shouts stories and tales of his accomplishments everywhere they can. But at the same time, he was so damn loyal that instead of gunning down his foes, he hit him with a fucking backbreaker. Ooh. To show his devotion, his devotion to Backbreaker! If you want Vikings in space, you found it. Play the Vikings in space. We're gonna build the wall. We Imperial no Fist. Well, I heard about that. I heard of this one. I heard of this one. Build that wall. <laughs> build that wall. <laughs> Imperial Fist. <laughs> Allegiance. <laughs> Loyalist. Primal. Builder. 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 <laughs> a hand single word descriptor fortify the imperial fists are made by primark rogel door in their home world that's not Inuit. funny However, bro they themselves are actually a fleet based chapter with their main source of recruitment coming from a enormous moon sized ship that's actually not funny the fists are a chapter you think of when you think of duty they love to serve. <laughs> the love okay. to serve and the inability to be moved. Rogel Dorn is an architect, a master builder, and basically a rock. Okay. A brain and body. Oh. A lack of humor or ability to lie shows that he is as blunt as the weapons of war he creates. That could be a Not good thing, though. That's, makes, I think that's a good like thing. Blunt, strong weapons. The fists are the same. Take your archetypical American Marine style look, a buzz cut, a hard sense of duty. Yeah. And then throw in some power armor and a love for building defenses. And oh. You have the Imperial fists. They that actually isn't a bad thing, though. When you find a spot, they're ready to defend. You, you can't breach them. Their knowledge of defensive warfare is paramount. Without them, the Horus Heresy would have been so much more effective. But thanks to their insane and immovable tenacity, the Imperium lives today. And let's not forget oh, yeah, the Iron right. Warrior and Imperial Fist rivalry. Want to know why the Iron Warriors are so bitter? These guys are the reason why. Oh, wow. Hey, <laughs> Where is he going? <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> hey! Hey, that could have killed me! Hey, guys! We missed! Get another! Dorn and Perturabo are basically two of the same <laughs> one. Oh, a bit my God. Headed ...and got better jobs. If you want to be defensive, to be good at everything space marines are good at, bolters, heavy weapons, vehicles, you want a classic military fighting force, start fisting i am having a very bad day this today is one of the worst days oh boy oh boy here we go the night lords <laughs> allegiance heretic primark conrad curse oh he looks like a menace a vigilante the espresso single word 
fear. The night okay, so bas I'm, I'm already hearing Batman. So are, are these like the Batman versions of like the Space Marine? Are these like the Batman Lords versions? Are my favorite legion hailing from the Stromo and their Primarch. Conrad Kurz. They are a traitor legion from a planet known as the Sunless World or the World of Endless Night. Nostromo is a horrible hive city that is known for being host to some of the worst gang violence, <laughs> murder, and working conditions around. <laughs> the only thing keeping the population I saw that bottom left, by the way. The suicide rate. The Night Lords followed in the footsteps of their Primarch, a man who believed in a twisted sense of justice and that the only way to make humans compliant is through Fear. The Legion's lesson has been lost on them as their ranks were repopulated by gang members, murderers, arsonists, torturers. I thought that was Butcher from the Boys. I can't say on YouTube as young as 12 years old. Murderers before they were even teenagers raised to become demigods. Now, fear is what they okay, sow. Okay, that's not Batman. Is what they reap. The Night Lords are scared. Gum. They are the exact opposite okay. of all other legions. So it's not they Batman. And they maim and they flay because they think it's fun. They run away often so they can come back and kill you with more numbers. They prey on the innocent and the weak. They kill normal civilians because it's easy. And flee any battle where they don't possess overwhelming odds. They are the antithesis of normal space marines. They are scum. Oh, so they're bitches. Th that's what they are. I'm sorry, because I don't really cuss like that, but they're bitches. Gotcha. So this isn't Batman. This isn't Batman. I take that back fully. I said, no, no, no. Before I said that uh, that they were like Batman because oh, like they like they like to put fear in people, and they're no, no, they're not Batman. They like to kill innocent people, and then whenever stuff gets hard, they run away. Okay. One time did not comply to their demands okay. so they raided one of their ships and brought it into atmosphere the crowds cheered and clapped as it appears that they had won the battle and the airlocks opened and the skinned and flayed bodies of the crew were thrown down in the yo populace. they're actually the menaces <laughs> a legion <laughs> of gangs and criminals add together a heavy slavic influence to them Yo, bro, they're horrible people. Why am I laughing right now? so embarrassed when people come over here. What does it matter? You bring them over, you kill them. Vampires don't do dishes. The Blood Angels. Allegiance? Loyal. Primark? Sanguinius. An angel. A vampire. A deadass motherfucker. Single word descriptor? Blood. The Blood Angels are a legion hailing from the homeworld of Baal with their Primark. Sanguinius. The Blood Angels are a tragic tale with one of the best Primarchs, one beloved by almost everybody. Okay, a Mr. Handsome. Angelic figure who led his people to glory, killed by the hands of the traitor Horus before the Emperor's oh, eyes. Oh, wow. The death of their Primarch led the entire Legion to madness as their gene seed malfunctioned and oh. created something known as the Black Oh, they crashed Rage. out. The they Blood crashed Angels out. The Blood over time experienced something called the Red Thirst, which gives them a genuine vampiric thirst for blood as their minds degrade and break down they get angrier and angrier becoming berserk killing machines with no other goal than to tear everything yo they them. crash but out they don't see it as that they see themselves there at their primarch's demise with horus in sight and to them it's time for vengeance that space marine over there that chaos space marine that's horus kill him that oh boss over there horus so everything that they see is just Horus. I mean, I understand. Listen, listen. I, un I'm, I listen. I, I don't want to say that I understand, but like, if your main guy on your team died, bro, and he was like this amazing angelic person, and he died, and the rest of the team just crashed out, and they're like, you know what, bro? Forget all this. Every man that we see is Horus because Horus killed our boy. So every guy that we see is Horus. I don't care if it's a kid and we just getting rid of him. I can't lie to you. That sounds a little messed up. But at the same time, though, I don't want to say that I get it. But, it, like, it's messed up at the same time. But, I mean, I imagine they were they were good, you know, um, they were good Marines before. 
Wow, they just fully just crashed out. Tyranid swarm, 1,000 horses. Horai, kill them all. Did your wow. toast come out a little bit burnt? Horus Horus. sabotaged your toaster. Destroy the toaster. Destroy it. Do it. Do it. Kill your toaster. Do it. This slow, debilitating disease takes over the blood angels, and it gives them this angelic, vampire, and Catholic-inspired imagery. They have chalices of blood. They rest in coffins and can even Wait. use psychic powers to sprout angel wings from their bodies. They are a tragedy through and through, and the only bro, they went from angels to demons, bro. Are the mangled bodies of those they come in contact with. I got a diesel Iron hands. Loyalist. Primarch, Ferris Manus, a machinist, an inventor, and not a great head on his shoulders. Single word? Bionics. Oh. <laughs> the Iron Hands are from the home planet of Medusa and their primal uh -oh. Ferris Manus. Does Ferris Manus have an iron hand? You fucking know he's got an iron hand. The Iron Hands believe that the flesh is weakness. But despite all of their enhancements, by all the things that made them demigods, replacing some of the flesh with Bionics will allow them to serve the Emperor more. They go mm. hard into vehicles and dreadnoughts. Dreadnoughts being giant yeah. walking sarcophagi. I know what dreadnoughts are, yeah. Space Marines piloting them from the inside. Vehicles, metal upgrades. These are the things that make up this legion. Their tech marines have servo arms sticking out. From so they're, they're just fully just tanked out, basically. Of mechanics and extremely often replaced limbs with metal ones, serving all kinds of different functions to deal with their enemies. The Iron Hands are also not particularly nice. Uh, they're kind of assholes. I mean, marines are already normally pretty big assholes, but but they they're a little um, bit up there because I mean, okay. of their. Ugh. Flesh, ugh, civilians made of flesh, ugh, oh. ugh. Because you see, the okay. flesh is weak. Flesh yes. is corruptible. Bionics, True. the strength of the machine is pure and cannot so easily oh. be corrupted. Oh, so now they have like this type of like complex that was like, oh, okay, well, well, since I got flesh just like you, you know, since I'm human just like you, but whenever, whenever I put on this flesh, um, I'm better and I'm stronger and you're just weak. Okay, I understand. So if you want people who have this little techno fetishistic vibe to them that love their vehicles and their walking coffins hit up the iron hands okay the sun commander i they're, they're, so they're just they're just egotistical men with armor okay yo what, wait what's going on with the 11 legion wait what oh, happened hello there i returned from um touching grass i know I'm pretty okay. cool. Okay. Okay. With the grass touching me. <laughs> now let's continue our Warhammer lecture. This uh oh. World Eaters. Okay, so what's going on here? This has to be the worst one. I am a stupid sandwich! The World Eaters. Allegiance, heretic. Primarch, Angron. A butcher, a slaughterer. Like extremely, earth shatteringly, unreasonably fuck ass man. Single word descriptor. Anger. Hey you! <laughs> yeah, you! Are you mad? Do you just fucking hate everything? Do you want to murder everything in sight and get rewarded for doing so? Then you should join the World Eaters. Oh, no. Nah. Planet of Nuceria and Primarch Angron, who, if the name didn't suggest, is real fucking angry. Angron was raised a slave, forced to fight oh. in gladiator pits. When he refused, they shoved old world tech into his brain so that if he ever felt any emotion other than anger, it caused him extreme pain. All his sons, wanting to be like their dad, also put a version of these nails in their brain. So now you have an entire legion I can see what literally feel unimaginable pain if they are feeling any emotion other than anger i can see why though i can see bro imagine like imagine just stopping yourself being like oh well i don't have to be this way i i could i could just be happy ah! and then you start screaming like bro Im imagine that I'll like slap them with a freight train of armor two goddamn chainsaw axes and you can see what's gonna happen bro it's no they're corrupted by corn they're honestly a surprisingly sad legion yeah that yeah i feel bad up and assuming that they were all just angry murderers yeah me too but they didn't start out that way their corn corruption degraded their intelligence oh, their free will, man. and made powerful warriors into arguably 
even more powerful yeah warriors, i feel bad too man ones, like frothing at the mouth psycho wow warriors. the world eaters like i mentioned the space wolves they, they wear their concept on their sleeve Dang, they man. are angry they want to kill things they want to kill you and maybe some of their friends and that's that's the faction they're red they're mad they're gonna run at you yeah and but cause like death if you like that you play the world eaters or you like it because they were yeah but you like know, at one point a lot better than that most of warhammer was a lot i mean but like can I you blame them though like you can't really like college oh so no what happened I didn't finish college and neither did oh, anger on okay. uh oh oh the ultramarines and we know hey this, this is this is the greatest this is the greatest legion of all time but yeah i feel bad about the last legion bro like i brought it like dang man okay I, I mean i see why like they go around killing people i mean like all they feel is anger i'm so like dang bro i feel my heart feels for them bro i can't lie to you it was, it is this is the, hey this is the greatest legion ever though this is the goats these are the goats allegiance loyalist primark rabute gilliman that's how yeah that's how it's said an analyst a diplomat a blueberry boy scout single word descriptor duty when you see space marines on a box or just space marines and promotional material notice how they are always colored blue these are yeah. the blue space marines. the indianapolis colts here the yeah. ultramarines who hail from the world of macrog with their primark rabute gorilla man ultramarines are, are the white bread of space marines okay the grilled chicken with salt and pepper and this is by no means an insult they are plain jane but that's also because they are so goddamn good at their job yeah they're their good for they're good there is paramount but so is their ability for leadership leadership. Gilliman for a while. They're amazing. That's why. Primark for all the reasons he was great. Because no matter how hard you try, you don't win a war without logistics, <laughs> without like, supply lines, <laughs> without trade routes, without infrastructure. He called them grill. He called them grill. Grilled chicken with pepper. <laughs> and economy I mean, he called them grilled chicken that with pepper he that's crazy why he has one of the largest standing empires in the imperium <laughs> named ultramar which is why his sons are the most recognizable of space marine, which is why the only thing that rivals the weight of their victories is the weight of their egos they are good at everything and bad at nothing they are great at everything other legions can do other things better than them but they are good at everything yeah. the most interesting thing about the ultramarines is their characters as they are all now inflicted with various amounts of ultra depression for many reasons oh Gilliman snap is at the time of recording the only playable primark currently on the tabletop and the only one that has returned to the 41st millennium for the loyalist side he took one look at what his empire has become and immediately wanted to fucking die being forced <laughs> to lead everything he once hated an imperium rotten to its core with his sole responsibility to save it that's kind of what makes him interesting they are a perfectly standard legion with perfectly standard ideals and great if you want a simple clean slate uh oh stinky funny poop uh -oh. poop funny Woo. The oh Death Guard. no allegiance heretic primark or tarian a reaper a poison an ungodly stench the <laughs> word descriptor rot the death guard hail from barbaros primark mortarium the 14th legion were known for their incredible resilience to damage that's a lot of damage where the imperial fists were defensive thanks to tactics and posturing the death guard were resilient because they could take a punch or, or a gut shot okay. or a cannon oh and, and just keep on moving they are slow yet they are resistant which was only confounded so the tanks guard captain hyphus codename dickhead sold them out to nurgle god of rot and oh a god of now, mucus that's what he looked like the nurgle god of mucus effectively <laughs> and his ability to feel pain and take damage has all but just gone away they wade through gunfire able to kill normal marines 10 times over and continue unharmed all while spreading Man. rot and disease in the name of their very stinky man that, that look like a team full of shreks plague spreads people get sick and they die they spread debilitating Ugh. disease to all around them why would a legion need to be anything more than very tanky when their enemies are falling over puking firing out of both ends and having their skin peel off just by their presence. entire <laughs> worlds infested with zombie rot swarms of insects that eat flesh and metal alike all Ugh. the legion advances slowly painfully allowing the disease they spread to take its toll before they reap the lives they believe belong to them this might be the mortarian's model dude this might be the nasty legion a gigantic moth with a gigantic scythe 
Come on now. The Death Guard. For my next oh, Thousand Sons. Wait, didn't... Wait, the Thousand Sons. Didn't we just beat them? Didn't, didn't Ultramarines just beat them in, War, in, in Warhammer 2? I'm pretty sure we just beat them, right? Or... It's... They have they have like they have like the like the purple lighting and stuff like that, right? The, like the blue and purple lighting and stuff, right? Didn't we just beat them? I'm gonna fucking kill myself. The oh no, don't say that. Allegiance, heretic. Primarch, Magnus the Red, a scholar, a sorcerer, a fucking nerd. A single oh. word descriptor? Magic. The Thousand okay. Sons hail from their homeworld of Prospero with their Primarch Magnus the Red. The final of our four major Chaos God factions, the Thousand Sons are disciples of Zeech, the Changer of Ways. Heavily inspired by their Egyptian theming, the Legion themselves are slaves to the god of trickery and change. Most of them no longer even having a physical form, reduced to just Dust, piloting suits Reduced of armor, to matter. The, of a sorcerer leader. the Thousand Sons do not deserve their fate. There's a common joke that Magnus did nothing wrong. This is untrue. He has done much wrong. However, he is very sympathetic. Mainly because the Space Wolves and Lehman Russ sought to end their rivalry through the annihilation of their legion, escaping only through the assistance of the Changer of Ways, and forever changed because of it. Meanwhile, magic is their main tool. Take some Lovecraftian okay. style abilities, the eyes everywhere, and potent spells to be cast at their foes. I, I like like their colors though. I like that a lot. Like the blue and purple. I like that. Reversing time itself, opening up portals to unreality, or changing the very fabric of the universe. The Thousand Sun sorcery knows no bounds, and they are very good at it. If you're a fan of like wizards, your classic style of spellcaster, and you want a ton of them. Oh yeah, yeah. They were in space space Marine like too. Yeah, Rotarian I remember them. Yep. Looks fucking baller. Mm. The Thousand Sons are for you. You fucking asshole. There's oh the oh no. Oh no. I know about this one already. See, I heard that these the sons of uh, of Horus, they're menaces. I know about this one. Wait, yeah. you're a fucking cheater. Such a sore loser. I know cheater. about this one. My dad works at Nintendo. <laughs> the sons of Horus, or the Luna Wolves, or the Black Legion. Allegiance, heretic. Primarch, Horus, a warlord, a treasured friend, or the traitor himself. Single word descriptor, assault. Menace. The sons of Horus are the formal name of Horus's legion, hailing from the world of Cthonia. The sons it blew of Horus up. themselves were assault troops. The strength of their attack was some of the most powerful in the legions. While the White Scars may favor speed for their strikes, the Sons of Horus were known for their overall offensive power. It was even said that if the Sons of Horus met the Imperial Fists, they would be at a stalemate for eternity. However, the Sons of Horus are no longer because, well... Oh! Yeah. Yeah. They are now instead the Black Legion, led by Abaddon the Despoiler, who claims to succeed where his father The Black Legion are still an offensive and assault-based force, but they act much like the Ultramarines, but for chaos. Your standard black and brass space marine who are known for recruiting in all different kinds of avenues. Anyone can become a member of the Black Legion. Anyone can swear allegiance to the War Master. You gain favored by not just one, but all four gods equally. Their oh, famous wow. line, let the galaxy burn, is the best way to describe them. It doesn't matter what the outcome They're menaces. is. So long as the Imperium dies, the Black Legion has done its job. They're they menaces. They're legion formed from hatred and spite with a clear goal in mind. As the Dark Gods are calling and the Black Legion are sure to answer. Hello. Do you have a moment to talk about Word bearers. Jesus Christ? No. <laughs> fucking optional! The Word Bearers. Allegiance? Heretic. Primarch? Lorgar Aurelian. A preacher. A fanatic. A choir boy. Oh. Single word descriptor? Zeal. If the Black Legion answer the call of the Dark Gods, what if instead you decide to call the gods first? Well, then the word bearers are for you. The 17th Legion, led by Primarch Lorgar on the planet of Colchis. Oh, it's still there? Oh, that's not. Originally obsessed with worshiping the Emperor of Mankind as a god, they found that despite his divinity, he was not worthy of worship. Because. You know, he raised their equivalent of Jerusalem to the ground for daring to worship him. Like, 
Could you imagine oh, wow. if, if God actually showed up and was just like, Jerusalem is stupid. It just, it just destroyed the whole thing. Like, what would that do to your head? But there are gods that want worship and will reward those who do. The word bearers are chaos worshipers to a T. All chaos gods. They specialize in demonic rituals, the summoning of demons, and the mutual possession of their own troops. They welcome demons to their bodies to fight as one. They exalt the dark gods themselves for aid, and guess what? They answer. In the world of 40k, Satan doesn't just call you back. He hops in his GT Mustang and he crashes on your couch. In the world of 40k, your rituals will end with genuine results. The word bearers know this. They know through sacrifices, through devotion, through dark baptism, the gods will answer and they will be rewarded. So they use it. They bring oh, forth no. demons. They oh, bring no. forth possessions. They oh, bring no. forth the power of the neverborn, the damned, and those that hide in the dark to bear against oh, the no. Imperium. Lorgar sits there. Oh, I don't, I don't like this legion. As the truth he always knew, the existence of gods and the importance of faith is a reality. It is a tool he is using to rend the galaxy. Dear Sir Stroke Madder. Salamanders. Fire! Exclamation mark. Fire! Exclamation mark. <laughs> the Salamanders. Allegiance, loyalist. Primarch, Vulcan, a forge master a behemoth, a very huggy boy. Single word descriptor, fire. The Salamanders hail from Nocturne, a volcanic planet home to their Primarch Vulcan. They are the largest of the space marines, not due to numbers, but rather size. Vulcan, it, it, he is an enormous slab of beef, by far the largest of all the Primarchs. However, don't let his size fool you as he is also the kindest. Salamanders oh. have the juxtaposition of looking frightening, being larger than other marines, while also boasting an ashy, like, coal-colored skin and blazing red eyes, while simultaneously carrying around all manner of flame weaponry. So your average civilian might be spooked, but in reality, they are by far the kindest of all the legions really? to those civilians. Vulcan believes that to safeguard the Imperium is to, at the end of the day, I mean, safeguard its people. So unlike other legions who put their lives far and above the average human, the Salamanders spend significantly more time trying to save them, often taking numerous losses by doing so. They are very independent as well. They're forgers and blacksmiths, maintaining their own weapons and crafting versions of it. They also have the very rare privilege of being able to see their families even after becoming a space marine. They they care, which is the funny part, because the seven and a half foot tall giant with flaming red eyes who just reduced a traitor to bubbling metal says, you have nothing to fear, young citizen. Take my hand. If you enjoy fire, melting things, and being the nicer of the Marines, Salamanders are for you. Oh yeah, that's for me. Hey, that's, that's my favorite one right there. Hey, that's nice. I like that. that that's my favorite one. Yeah. That's what I like to see right there, man. If you yell it out loud. The True. Guard. True. Allegiance, loyalist. Primarch, Corvus Corax. A raven, a shadow, an industrial dance DJ. Single word descriptor, stealth. The Raven Guard are the final loyalist <laughs> legion at 19 and hail from the planet Deliverance. With oh, there's not 20? I thought there was 20. Corax. If it hasn't been made clear enough already, the Raven Guard are stealth specialists and proficient in all manners of assassination. Despite this, their signature winged jump pack and double lightning claw look is, well, not very stealthy. <laughs> they are named after, of course, the Raven and embody the entire concept of it as a herald of death. They are stealthy, patient hunters that have no problem with waiting and waiting and waiting until the moment to strike is at hand. It's not easy being a stealth faction when your stealth involves people in one ton of power armor. That's, bro, I, I was literally about to say, bro, how are you stealthy, bro? And you got like five refrigerators on your body. There's no, bro, bro, bro. I promise you, if these guys are trying to like sneak up on me, bro, I would hear clank, 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 bro. I would hear it, bro. There's no shot you're, you're stealthy with that. There's no way. Wait, that more than anything should not be used to show how ridiculous 40K is. 
even though it is, but rather to show how good the Raven Guard are at their jobs. It's not about them sneaking around you without being seen, but it's also about them having lied in wait for so long that it wasn't until they were in striking distance that you even realized they had been there. Oh, also, wow. You want, you know, edgelord marines with the long black hair, oh. and pale skin, ravens everywhere. If you Cause want to the night won't be the night that I won't bound, fall for you. you. Know, it could be in this <laughs> oh, there are 20. Okay, cool. The Alpha Legion. Uh oh. Legion's heretic. Oh Primal, no. Alpharius and Omegon. Why do they? Why do they look like uh like player one, player two, like default characters? <laughs> Saboteurs, destabilizers. They're in your walls. Single word. What? During my what? Espionage. Finally, the twentieth. Legion, the Alpha Legion, led by Alpharius and Omegon, the only Legion to have two Primarchs who were split as twins. The Alpha Legion are heretical, we think, and specialize in destabilization of society and armies. Their entire shtick is the Hydra, because when you cut off one head, two more take its place. All of the Alpha Legion look exactly like their Primarch, olive skin, shaved head, all claim to be Alpharius, all are liars. They make oh, the wow. largest use of sleeper cells and cultists in the Chaos Space Marine factions because it's extremely easy to take over a planet when you poison our water supply, <laughs> burned our crops, and delivered a plague onto our houses. Where the Raven Guard use stealth and sabotage to eliminate their enemies, the Alpha Legion prefer to weaken them over time with sleeper agents, impersonations, basically anything you could imagine from a hardcore spy movie or, or Cold War level espionage. Being Alpharius is not only only an honor being alfarius is a requirement there's oh, a story wow. of someone chasing down an alpha legion agent for years upon years and when they finally catch up with them and they see them they see that the agent is wearing the same face as their pursuer because this was the plan all along to kill him and take his spot we're talking facial reconstruction surgery we're talking hacking we're talking political assassination and impersonation that man hit a professor pig from batman movies in name only because being a strong stoic warrior is not what the alpha legion is interested in in fact the alpha legion is interested in you not even knowing that the alpha legion is a thing i am alfarius you are alfarius we are all alfarius no i'm not Lord hey i'm the Lord i'm the salamander Lord. thing thank you everyone so much for watching this video i hope you learned a little shout out to bricky man you were on the fence about what space marines you wanted to field you now have a better idea of what you want to play buy my gamer sub shaker it's on sale it's on pre-order it's ready to go just get it just get it use code bricky it's in the description just get oh. it. and a huge thank you to all of my patrons over on patreon.com slash bricky and the members on the youtube channel your names are here I thank oh that's you nice ton. you are all very generous and uh oh i need to answer a question have you ever attempted to touch grass but end up touching the destiny 2 loading screen oh damn it i just yeah i've never did that you're down bad so come on no nah, you're down bad obviously you're a skater oh man shout out to bricky again man for this video um i'm definitely um I, I'm number 18. I'm the salamander thing. I like them. They're very kind, even though they look very intimidating, you know, a Hall of Fame intimidator, or whatever. Um, I, I like them a lot. Uh, and if not them, I like the uh, obviously like the ultramarines and stuff like that. I like them. I think they were like Legion 13. Every other one besides listen, besides the um, which one is it? Is it like the set? It, it was the one where um, like it, like they're really angry or whatever. I think it's called like the world eaters. It's like um, if like they're really angry, uh, sorry, no, if they're not angry, then they feel like extreme pain, whatever. And then like, you know, they can't feel no other emotion or like they'll be like, I can't lie to you. That one gets a pass. That that Legion gets a pass. I'm, I'm going to be completely honest with you. That thing was enslaved like since they were young or whatever, and they can't even feel happiness or they'll or they'll feel pain. And that pain is going to turn into anger. I can't lie to you. That one, that one Legion right there, it gets a pass. Every other Legion. That 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 stinky disease legion or whatever menace, um, the other uh, legions where like you know they they call everybody else weak but you know they still have the same weak skin that everybody has but they just have armor on top of it. That one's like that legion is trash as well. 
Um, yeah, that 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 Legion, you know, where they feel pain all day, or whatever. That Legion gets a pass. I cannot lie to you. Comment down below. What is your favorite Legion in uh, Warhammer 40k? Um, other than that, so you guys have a good smell. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, like the video if you guys are new, and 